Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a tender, juicy, slow cooker lamb leg recipe. And at the end, we're gonna add a delicious lamb gravy. Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto recipes and carnivore recipes and cooking ideas. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our uh, roasted leg of lamb. Actually, it's not roasted. It, we'll finish it in the oven, um, but for now it's gonna go in the slow cooker. I just wanted to tell you about what I have here. It's a um, leg of lamb that I got on sale right after Christmas for $6.88 a pound. We're coming into Easter weekend now, so this is a, also a good time to check once Easter is over, it's a good time to check for lamb being on sale um, because it can be fairly pricey. Lamb is a traditional Easter recipe. Um, my mother grew up uh, with sheep on her farm and they ate lamb all the time. But when she came to Canada, lamb was so expensive that it was only an Easter thing for us. So I do like to serve it around Easter time at least, uh, but I, if I can get it on sale, I'll make it more than once a year. The leg of lamb is hard to get right. This is a leg of lamb. And in my opinion, the best way to do a leg of lamb is low and slow, a lot like a brisket. You can do this in the oven if you don't have a slow cooker. Just do one hour per pound, just like you would do a brisket. Um, and I'll link my brisket recipe down below. You would just cover it 250 in the oven, an hour per pound, and you don't have to babysit it. So that's what I like about that cooking method and also in the slow cooker. This is gonna probably take 10 hours, but I'll check it in eight hours to see where we're at. I've got uh, 2.48 kilograms, which is just over five pounds. So you get a lot of meat and it's really easy to do. This is foolproof. You just set it and forget it. And that's the other thing I love about it because then you can, if you're doing a big Easter dinner, which we're not because of COVID, but say you were next year, what you can do is set it and forget it and work on all your other side dishes for the family um, in that time. So let's get started. I'm gonna take it out and uh, we'll put it in the slow cooker. Okay, so I've taken the lamb out of its uh, container or its plastic, whatever. Um, this one has a shank, a lamb shank attached, and it has this little plastic thing on the end to protect the bone, I guess. Um, obviously, you wanna take that off because you don't want that cooking in your slow cooker or oven. So I'm just uh, patting it. Um, one of the challenges with a large leg of lamb is fitting it in the slow cooker. But I, I think with this one, it's going to not be too bad because this the shank can be manipulated. You can even cut it off and just put it in there if it doesn't fit. So my first task is to see how it will go. Okay, so let me see if I can manipulate it in. So I'm going to cut that off and it's fairly easy to cut off. So we'll do that first. You can just kind of feel in there where the, where the bone is. Okay, so now we have the main part of the roast here. And we're gonna just fit the leg in right, right there like that. Okay. So we're also going to need a bit of seasoning and some liquid in here. I'm seasoning it fairly minimally um, because I have discovered lately that I'm very affected by the seasonings. I'm looking, I've been reading articles about oxalate levels in certain seasonings and uh, pepper is a real bad one for me. I suffer terribly after I have pepper. So it's not gonna have any pepper? It's gonna have salt. And I'm going to put a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary and thyme just in there to infuse a bit of flavor and some beef broth and- And that's it. I've got some Redmond sea salt. Which is my favorite salt. I'm gonna do a teaspoon. We can always add more later, so. Just gonna sprinkle it over the lamb. Some people will rub the lamb all over with olive oil, any type of oil for that. I, I don't really find it necessary in a slow cooker, so I just don't do it. It's up to you. I'm going to put just a couple of these on top. They will be removed later. 
So our rosemary and thyme. And I'm going to do a cup of beef broth here. I normally would use uh, my own broth that I've made from cooking other beef or some bone broth that, uh, but I, this was all I had in the house. So I'm gonna put in one cup. I've got one cup of organic beef broth here going in. Use whatever you can get in your area. Um, if you can make your own, that's awesome. Just gonna put it on low. Whoops, that was high. I've I've only got a low and a high setting. This this crock pot, as you can tell from the pattern, is definitely from the 80s. I have had this crock pot, it feels like forever, and it never lets me down. Um, so now, yeah, that's just set and forget. So the process is going to be, this will cook until it's super tender, and I'm estimating eight to 10 hours. Once once it's where I want it to be, I'm going to put it in the roasting pan and roast it at a high heat just to kind of crust everything, make it look nice and browned and delicious. And while it's in the oven doing that, I'm going to make a lamb gravy for this. So stay tuned. Okay, so my leg of lamb has been in the crock pot for about nine hours. There's, there's not really an official way to tell the doneness. I, I kind of poke at it and if it looks like meat is falling off the bone, it's done. This is really the hardest part is trying to get it safely from the crock pot into the pan without it just like falling apart everywhere. I'm going to attempt to do that. Turn this on. Going to take out the rosemary and thyme. Smells amazing in here. All right, I will take out the lamb shank since we cut that off anyways. Let's see what we have here. This will be the tricky part. That was successful. I have preheated my oven. Um, I, it's going to go in for 20 minutes at 390 degrees. So while the lamb is browning in the oven, I'm going to make lamb gravy. And I'm basically going to use the liquid that we are braising liquid. So I'm straining it into here. Oh, we got quite a bit. Three cups. So just gonna let it sit for a minute, skim some of the fat off the top, and then I'm going to simmer this down, add a little bit of salt if it's needed, and maybe a little bit of cream or butter to give it some body. So you can see that the, the fat quickly rises to the top. Um, I mean, obviously we're okay with having some fat in the gravy, but we'll, we'll try to skim off this clear fat on the top here as, as much as we are able to. Okay, I think that's good enough. So I'm going to go pour this into my saucepan and start simmering it. Okay, so we have over three cups. I really only need a couple of cups for this gravy. So I'm going to, I'm going to pour most of it in. But not all of it, I'm gonna reserve about a cup. So there we go. Basically, I'm going to turn up the heat and let it simmer while for the rest of the time that the lamb is in and that should reduce in volume, make it a bit thicker. If you weren't doing keto or carnivore, you would make a roux and make a gravy with flour, but we don't do that. So I find this up to be a perfectly acceptable gravy. I am going to save the rest of this for my hamburger soup tomorrow. So we have a nice bubble going there. I, I basically just let it bubble away for 10 minutes and that seems to do the trick. All right, here it comes. Oh, look at that. Now we're gonna let that rest for a few minutes. 
while I finish the gravy. Just cover it up. It doesn't need to be completely sealed or anything. So this gravy here has reduced down quite a bit. It's looking nice and thick. I'm going to take out a couple of spoons and mix in just a little bit of cream to give it some body. Oh, <laughs> all right, there we go. So I'm just going to put a couple tablespoons of cream in here. It's heavy cream. And we'll just uh, stir it in there. Gives it a nice velvety look. And I'm going to pour it into here. Okay, so there's our sauce. So we've got just over one cup of, of gravy from that. So it reduced down to almost half in about 10 minutes of simmering it on medium. Plus I added a couple of tablespoons of cream in there. I'm just going to get a fresh spoon and see what the seasoning is like. It's actually perfect. Just the way it is. Some gravy here. I'm just going to cut some off and bring it down to my mother. And the rest I'm saving for tomorrow. She likes the, the leg, the shank part here. The thing that's good about cooking it low and slow like this, my mom has dentures, top and bottom, and um, this will just, she doesn't even have to worry. She barely has to do anything. I do have to cut it up into small pieces for her though. So. But she is going to love this because she can no longer cook for herself, but she loves her lamb. And uh, she'll get a little bit of gravy. Oh, look at that. I think before I take it down to her though, I better test it and make sure that it's okay with the gravy. Mm. Oh, super tender. Here's, here it is. Kind of chopped up for, for my mom, but the main roast here, I will, I will slice it um, and make, you know, kind of bigger, bigger pieces for, for the rest. But that's what she'll have. Music. Music. That's the music.